Hey, it's Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it is Tuesday. It is May 25th. This will be our chart lesson for today. And I thought I'd start out with the daily chart here. You can see the big uptrend that we've been in for several months here. And recently we've gone into this range right here. Let me back out here and show you this range or zoom in, however you want to look at it. But you can see we've been in this range and we had a failed break out the top. Then we broke out the bottom. We traveled exact measured move down, which is this blue line, recovered, got back into the range. And now we today we turned down off the upper side of it. Perfect price action. Very typical to what you'll see on the daily chart as well. So um, I mean, on the intraday chart as well, this is actually the daily chart. These are daily bars. So the midline is this dark purple right here. And that's where we're, we just bounced off that. So it wouldn't surprise me to see prices break out this high side again. Sometimes it, it, you need this break out the lower side to trap enough traders to get the momentum to push through. Today we pushed through briefly, but you can see it turned prices back down. So I, it wouldn't surprise me to see this thing go higher, although we could continue to go sideways for a while, or we could even turn back down again. So, but we traded up into this, to this trend channel. So I would suspect that at some point we're going to trade successfully on higher out the other side that's generally how that's that's generally the expectation you would expect to see on a daily chart but or on any chart on a breakout in other words but regardless doesn't mean it's going to happen so follow the price action don't trade what you are expecting trade what you are seeing and right now we're seeing prices turn down off the upper side of this trend channel here so that leads me to believe we're going to at least back up again even if we're at a very minimum, even if we're going higher. So uh, we, we could just be finding some resistance there and we might bump on through. We might bump on through and trade higher tomorrow. So there's just no way to know for sure. We just have to wait and see. But you can clearly see that prices are trading as expected, even on this daily chart, just like they would on the intraday 2000 tick chart. So hope that was helpful. Go back to the other to the intraday chart now, the 2000 tick. And as you can see, uh, here's the intraday chart. We traded up into that resistance, which is right along here. That's the same, basically that same resistance line area on the daily chart. And we turned down and traded down. And we traded down here. Uh, we traded up off the lows into the close, but we're pretty close to them. So there was actually two legs down in here. It's a little convoluted, but this was your first move down. And then you kind of went sideways, but this was the high point. And from there, you made a second leg down. You can see it's almost a perfect measured leg before we bounced. So, and then from there, we were working on a continued down. I originally had this channel up here, and that may still be right. It still fits in there. You can see that very easily that it still fits within that channel. But if you move it down, it fits there as well. So at first I, I was looking at this as an overshoot. That's the way I played this. And I thought maybe we'd reverse, but when we continued on down, you have to take a look at this and other options for this. And when I pull it on down, it fits, especially late in the afternoon. It fits really well in here. So, uh, but this is how I played it early on. And you can clearly see it bouncing down that line every single time. And you can see the yellow channel. We got the break a few legs down and then reversed. But once we got back up to this main trend line, we continued on down and started another channel, which is this other yellow channel. So there's not a lot of trades today, not many at all, actually. There's a lot of, I mean, we spent the first, really from about 8.45 until 
after 10 o'clock before we started trending again. I mean, that's that's an hour to hour and a half in there that we just did nothing. And I, I think you're better off just to stay out of that. There's some possibilities of, of taking a couple of shorts and a couple of longs in there. And they would have worked, but don't trade that stuff. Just when you see that tight congestion like that, just stay out of it. And you can clearly see how tight that is. I would just stay out of it. It's not worth trading. It's not worth taking the risk on it. So anyway, let's back out. We'll go through the trades. It won't take long today because there's not a lot of trades. I mean, the early morning, you just had, I mean, you just had to sit through this and there really wasn't a good opportunity to get short with that either. So early on, seven o'clock this this is, is coming right in here as we're moving up and notice you got a new swing high there because it's higher than that when you got a little two-legged correction up there and then you get a first entry and then there's a second entry long there so when it fails and turns down you could go short there uh, you could actually argue for this to be red i just it's a little congestive there and the ema has gotten really flat and we're really inside of this high and these lows here there is enough room to get out there, uh, and and there's a couple of extra ticks to spare, so it would have worked. So if, you know, if you could almost argue for that to be red. I just left it green because it's a little congestive, a little sideways. So, but we bounced up here. I drew the trend line off those first two swings there, not knowing if it would matter or not, but I drew it. And then once we made this lows here, I drew it across these lows. But anyway. Uh, we turn down and we bounce and we're just going sideways here. There's a second entry long, but I don't think you want to go long. We, we bounce there multiple times, but you don't have much room. This congestion again. Notice you got one, two, three, four, five bars that are really all inside each other for the most part there. And then we just continue on. There's actually a little, you made a high, you come back and test it once. You turn down, you come back and test it again. And you get this big bar, but that's just the first two swings there. Again, I think it's too congestive, although it's a fairly nice signal bar. And there is a little room down here to these lows, but this is what I'd be worried about. Will it break? If you're going short right there, does it turn back up? And it does momentarily before it goes lower. So uh, that's another one you could argue to be green. I I'm just not crazy about it. I think it's too congestive. And, of course, we shoot on down here, but there's no way to get in this. I just don't see, you know, there's a lower eye here, but do you want to enter short right there? I wouldn't. I don't like that. And then you bounce here. And you're just going sideways again. Now, there's a second entry long here, but the trend is down. So I don't think you want to be going long yet. There is a little room back to the EMA. And there is some support across here. So that is one, another one that you could argue that you might take. It's a second entry long. It's it's an inside bar too, but it does make matching lows. So it's another one you could argue for. Uh, we bounced here, but we're right back to the highs and it's just hard to know what's going on right there. It's looking like there's a good chance we can go lower, uh, but we could also go higher because it's looking like a range. And the problem is, is you're not getting rejection off these lows, but they're holding. So really, I don't think this is a range. I think this is really just strong support and prices are trying to work lower. That's what it looks like to me. I think that's how I described it in the mid-morning chart synopsis that it, it just looks like strong support and not necessarily a range. And therefore, I didn't really mark it as a range then. I do have it outlined here in green just so you can see it. But you can clearly see that we're losing momentum here each time until it finally breaks through it comes back and it can't even get back to the highs and then we're working lower again but you can also see that trend line coming in play and that makes it really tempting to go short right there but again i think you're better off and there's a little breakout pull back short right here but i just don't think you want to go short on a breakout because it's not going to go very far and probably come back and test this and maybe even fail um, finally, you do get a, 
you make that low, you try to go short lower once, you try to go lower twice, and we're still away from the EMA with a nice bullish bar. You might ride that back, knowing that we'll come back and at least test the breakout area. Just make sure you got enough room to get out. And if you need to, you might have to use a limit order to do that. But in that case, you could trade that one. And we might even reverse out of there, but obviously we don't. We break lower. Then you get a first entry, second entry short right here. Nice bearish bar. Uh, you got this little channel working down. Uh, I like going short there just for a retest of this low. Uh, and same thing on this yellow one. You got your break and you got one leg down. A lot of times you'll get two. So you might even look for that measured leg down right there. which is we made a perfect measured move and it bounced and then we went a little bit lower. But that was because I think we were trying to make this next leg work. And you also had to consider a measured move on the range, which that's this blue line down here. We never got that. So at least not till late this afternoon. Notice how close we got there. But you got a second entry short there. And if this would have broke higher, I still probably wouldn't have marked this. Uh, there is a second entry short there, but it's just, uh, it's a, this is an inside bar. It's not bearish enough anyway. If it would have broke higher there and then turned down, maybe you enter there. But I don't see any reason to enter, even though it goes lower here. It's just not a very good setup for a short. And then I know at least one person got burned here, or actually two people. I got at least two emails on this. Because it is a first entry, second entry, and the signal bar is decent. But look how you got one, two, three, four bars stacked up there side by side. At least two of them have no body or a small body. And then you get another one here before it actually breaks high. Um, actually, it broke lower there on the second entry, so you wouldn't have had these, so forget that. But I like going long there uh, just simply because you're looking for a reversal. Uh, most of the people that sent me this going short there did not have the yellow channel, but they had another. I mean, I would say there's a valid channel here, probably like this. I didn't draw this one because I was looking at the yellow one. But that looks valid, and I think that's the way at least one person sent it to me. But hopefully you see that congestion there. And whenever you see congestion like that going sideways, that's telling you that there's equilibrium there. And so that's not a good place to be going short after a measured move down, after a break and a new low, and more importantly, what looks like an overshoot of the blue channel. That's what it's looking like to me at that point. I mean, it could be in the end that the channel is down here and it's two-tiered. I mean, it fits both ways, but this is certainly valid here at the time, and this is all you had to go on at the time. So it looks like an overshoot and when you make that failed second entry short, I like riding that at least back to the EMA and maybe you're going to go all the way back to the trend line, which is exactly what happens. And then even technically, this is not a failure, but notice that this is close enough to call this a double bottom. You can see those matching lows right across there. This is a little higher. But it's still close enough, so you try to go short once, twice, and you got that big bearish bar that breaks below and fails and turns up. I like going long there. We're just looking to ride this. And you can see if you draw your trend channel there, it's fitting across the top rather well. So and at this point, you could get a reversal here, but you're just, you know, at the very least, you're looking for prices to come back to the upper side of the trend line. Test the trend line, especially on an overshoot. It could just keep going. So you want to try to get in on that. And then, of course, you get the break here, move to a new high. Then you get a lower high. Then you get a failed second entry long. I don't think you want to go short it here yet until you get this failure. And if you went long, I don't know if that works or not. I, you know, I had at least, I think it was over here where a couple of people tried to get long. But here, your entry would be... 95. Yeah, I mean, you would have had just enough to get out. You don't really want to go long there, but 
a lot, you know, if you misread it, it, luckily it still worked. This is the second entry that worked. And, and if you got out of that, if you took that long and got out, you got lucky because the trend is down. And it's pretty obvious if you drew it off these first two swings that it matches up right there. And so, especially with this coming up, getting the break, it actually gets a close outside and two legs up. It turns down right at the trend line, tries to go higher once, twice, fails. So if you took that long, it worked, but it wasn't a good read. And notice how it's below the EMA and you had to go long right into it as well. Although by the time you went long, it would have been over it. So that's not so much as the issue as it is that it's just the trend is down and you're misreading it. This is just a correction back to the trend line. We shoot on down, then we come back, we get another move up. And you get a first entry, second entry. It's almost a repeat pattern. Just go short right there. It's right off the key entry point again. You double kiss it. Uh, uh, somebody sent me this saying they went long right here. That's just, it's really too congested for a, a second entry type in, entry. The only way you could enter this would be on, the only reason you can go short is because it's a trap and it's probably, and it's with the trend. So it's probably going to shoot down. If you got a trend channel break here and you try to go higher twice and it fails, it's probably going lower, even if it's going to come back first. It's going to go lower before it comes back. So I like going short right there. They trap those longs. And next thing you know, it's making two legs down. There's a lower high here, but it's just too congestive. And then you bounce here again. It's too congestive. And we're just kind of chopping around. But notice you get your break, new low. It looks like we're going to go higher. And then you get a, uh, really the way, what I did here, this kind of expands. Like so. And you get a failed breakout in the lower high. Normally, I'd be very leery about going short into that, and I did mark, and that's why I marked it green. But because this broke higher and turned down all in one bar, it's showing some real uh, bearish strength right there. And we're still looking for prices to go lower and make a new low here. We haven't made a new low yet. We haven't even really had a break of the trend channel, much less a new low. So the trend is still down strongly so i like that i made it green again because it's late in the day and there is some support across here although you can see we pushed on through here and so down to that low you probably got enough room to get out anyway even if it's going to bounce but it shoots on down i marked it green i'm not crazy about it but it's with the trend and we still don't have a new low in place yet and that's a fair, even though it doesn't look like it, that's a pretty good downtrend. It just had a lot of sideways stuff in there. So uh, not a lot of trades today. Not, there were a few decent trades, but they're just, it just was one of those days. This was what started it right here. We just went sideways for, usually this is the best part of your trading day. And we're just going sideways there. And that kind of throws everything off. So. Uh, anyway, that's what I saw today. Not the best trading day, not the worst by any means, but uh, not the best trading day either. But anyway, I'm going to wrap it up. We'll be back again to do it tomorrow. I'm done for today. This is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and we'll see you next time.